Hello and welcome back to stories that caught my eye this week. Now, first up is a story about a newly discovered volcanic island. Well, I say newly, it's about three years old, but NASA have recently landed on it for the first time. And what was quite remarkable about this island is that in the space of just three years, it was covered in vegetation and had bird life on it. But more strangely than that is that the whole of the island seemed to be covered in this strange sticky mud and it totally baffled the NASA scientists and they struggled to determine what the mud was actually made from nor could they explain where it had actually come from. Now it kind of reminds me that you know on this channel at the moment we are focusing very much on uh, mysteries in the universe there are plenty more mysteries on earth for us to solve as well. NASA are planning to go back in about a year's time and they've taken plenty of samples so hopefully over the coming months we will learn more about what this mysterious sticky mud actually is. For the first time astronomers have actually detected organic molecules around a newly formed star. Now this is particularly important to help understand how solar systems form and the potential opportunities for life to occur within these systems. Now we find plenty of this material within our own solar system in for example comets um, but obviously this is the first time we've seen it outside of our own solar system. Now what's interesting about the article is it talks a lot about discovering this but what it doesn't talk about is, is which I find the more interesting question, is how these molecules actually arose in the first place. Now in the standard model of star formation, carbon is not created by a star until much later on in its life cycle. So therefore this star can't have produced it itself. So therefore the assumption must be that the, the carbon from which these molecules formed must have come from a supernova explosion from previous stars, which then uh, formed a gas cloud from which the star collapsed and formed. But it could be instead uh, a process that takes place on the surface of the star. Now in my next few episodes we will actually be examining some alternative models for stars which may help to explain how this might actually come about. Now for the first time in a while the world's magnetic model has actually been updated out of sequence and the North Pole is moving much faster than scientists had anticipated and this meant that they had to actually update the, the model uh, in order to ensure that GPS tracking was still accurate. That's how much the pole has actually moved. Now more important is that the movement is actually accelerating and at the same time the magnetic field itself, the strength of it, is decreasing. So is there a connection to what is happening on the Sun, to what is happening on the Earth? We know that the poles do shift from, from time to time and they, they tend to flip magnetically. And as far as we are aware, this process has been going on for quite some time. But in the last few years, that movement has accelerated dramatically. Now, it's unclear how long it will actually take, nor necessarily what the implications for us on Earth will be. But certainly our magnetic field plays a very crucial role in protecting us from the solar and cosmic radiation. Now this may have caused rapid evolution events in the past and that's just speculation here but it's certainly something that I'll be keeping a close eye on and potentially doing some episodes on in the future. Now finally I wanted to end with this very cool little tool that ESA have um, published and it's a 3D map of our galaxy featuring about 1.7 billion stars um, and I'll put the link down below so you can go and have a go at it but you can basically zoom around uh, zoom into any part of the image and uh, view the stars at extraordinary detail really it's quite a remarkable achievement and that brings us to the end of the stories that caught my eye this week as always, follow the evidence, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.